Hello folks. This question is often asked even during the interviews. What is the difference between lookup, join and merge stages in a data stage job? In order to understand the key difference between these stages and the scenarios where these stages can be used in a data stage job, we will start with exploring the functionality of a merge stage then trying to simulate the merge behavior using join stage and lookup stage separately. By this way, we can understand the various limitations and uses of each stage. I have created a job using merge stage. It has one master dataset input and corresponding output dataset link. Two update datasets input and each update datasets link has their respective output reject links. Remember, a merge stage should have one master input link, one master output link, any number of update links and each update link can have its own reject link. Master link cannot have a reject link in a merge stage. All the input datasets have the common unique column line. So I have used line as my key column in the merge stage. The rest of the values are the default ones. Here the sort order option is used to define the output data sort order. If the value is descending, then the records will be stored in descending order of the key column. The default value is ascending. The option unmatched masters mode can have any of the two values keep or drop. Default value is keep. In this case, all the records from the master data set will go to the output data set even if there are no matching records in the update data sets. Drop option will not write the unmatched records from the master data set to the output data set. I will show you the result of drop option after few slides. Under link ordering tab, I have arranged the reject links to be assigned to the respective update links. Under the output tab, I have mapped the necessary columns from the master and update datasets to the output datasets. Here I have shown all the records that we have in each input dataset output dataset when keep option is used and the reject datasets. As you can see, the values from update datasets have been assigned to the matching records of the master data set in the output data set. Since we use the option keep the unmatched records line 17 and 18 from the master data set have also been returned into the output data set. The records in the update data sets which didn't find any match in the master data set line 19 and 20 in update 1, line 19 and 22 in update 2 were returned into the respective reject data sets. When the option drop is used, the unmatched records from the master data set line 17 and 18 are not returned into the output data set as you can see from this figure. I have used the option drop over here and the line 17 and 18 are dropped from the output. Here I tried to produce the merge stage result using a join stage. I have used the same master input file, two update files. Join stage do not support reject link, hence we do not have reject links here. In join we do not have the terminologies master and update input links. Instead, we have left link, right link and intermediate links. There can be only one left link, one right link and any number of intermediate links in a join stage with the option left join, right join and inner join. For full outer join, only two input links are allowed, left link and right link. Intermediate links are not allowed in full outer join operation. By using the left join option in join stage, I was able to produce the same result as that produced by merge stage with keep option. No other joins helped in producing any sort of merge behavior when we have three input links as we have in this case. Now I have tried to produce the merge stage result using a lookup stage. Again, I have used the same input datasets. 
Lookup stage can accept one primary link, any number of reference input links, one reject output link which stores the rejected records from the primary link and one primary output link. Since I cannot have reject links for each reference input link, in this case update 1 and update 2 links, we do not have any reject links here as that we had when we used merge stage. Unlike merge or join stage where the key column name has to be identical in all the input data sets to be joined, the lookup stage has no such requirement. We can define any of the column as a key column in the lookup stage interface and map them together for doing a join operation. By using the lookup failure equal to continue option under the constraints tab, for each of the reference links, I was able to get the similar result as that I got out of merge stage with keep option. But the output records in this case are not sorted based on the key column. Instead, we could see the records are collected in a round robin partition method. To know more about round robin method, you may refer to my other video on round robin partition. We can use a sort stage after the lookup stage for sorting the output records. In this slide, I have shown the output result when I used sort order equal to descending in the merge stage. As I had told you earlier, when I use the option descending, the records in the output will be sorted in a descending order over key column partition. Now to conclude the key differences between the lookup, join and merge stage and where we should use them. For lookup, reference data should be smaller in size so that it doesn't overflow the RAM memory space. When the input data is of large size, we can use join on merge stage. The input data can be of any size, but we should avoid join with small number of reference records as it will produce poor performance. The key column names of input data and reference data need not be same in lookup stage. Whereas in join and merge stage, the key column names should be identical in all the input data sets. Lookup stage should be specifically used for doing a range lookup, validating a row. If there is no corresponding entry in a lookup table to the keys values, you can output the row in the reject link. Join stage should be used for left outer join, right outer join or full, jo full outer join operations. Merge can be used when you have one master dataset and multiple update datasets. Also, you can derive reject links for each update dataset. In lookup, you have multiple inputs, one output and one reject link. Whereas in join, you can have multiple inputs, one output and no reject link. In merge, you can have multiple inputs, one output and multiple reject links. Again, as you know, the reject links are equal to the update dataset links available in the job. So these are the basic key differences between lookup, join and merge stage. Hope you liked this video. If you have questions or comments, please post them in the comments section. Have a great day.